It's the last day of the harvest in Svarlöv in southern Sweden. But this wheat isn't destined for the nation's breadbaskets. This is the test field at the Lantmenen Farming Cooperative, where manager Tina Henriksson has a mission to breed crops that are future-proof. We develop new varieties of wheat to make sure that the varieties can still produce as big yields as possible, even if the climate changes. What we really want to produce is varieties that are robust to a lot of different climates. For her team, it's been a decade-long process. 45,000 types of wheat have been whittled down to an elite sheaf of just 10. Resistant to extreme heat, drought and floods. The knowledge could be crucial further south. The worst droughts in 500 years have caused crops to fail in Italy, France and Germany. Farming here used to be challenging because of the cold. Not anymore. 2022 has been a bumper harvest for Sweden, an indication perhaps that their agricultural industry can benefit, at least in the short term, from the effects of climate change. As the heat moves north, Sweden's growing season has become longer and warmer. Septembers in the south have been two degrees Celsius above the average in recent years. But farmers are aware that the good times might not last long. This farm has been record-breaking, really. Um, we've had all the, all the great components related to a, a good year. We will probably see more extreme weather. It seems like in this region that once the rain comes, it comes more. And once the dry weather comes, it's, it's for longer periods. Changes in climate bring changes in disease. That causes a toxin. Something that the breeding process also tries to combat. Sweden's harvests may help with the current food shortages in other countries. But in the long term, the biggest yields may be in the lab. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Svarlöv, Sweden.